as we enter these summer months and with temperatures climbing into the 90s, it's important to remember to stay safe in that heat. KQ2 Sam Rowe has the story. Well, I'm here today reporting from a place that most of us will spend a lot of time this summer, outside. With all the fun outdoor activities during the summer, doctors from the University of Kansas Health Center wanted to remind people how to stay safe and recognize the signs of heat illness this summer. Try to get a fan, try to stay in the shade, and hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. If the normal amount of water that we drink on a given day, we need to go up by 30 or 50 percent beyond that in order to handle the increased stress. It's important to remember that groups like the very young and those who have respiratory issues will have a greater risk of heat-related illness. For people with COPD, asthma, or other related conditions, make sure to check factors like humidity, ozone, and dew point before going outdoors. For newborns and babies under six months, it is important to limit their exposure to direct sunlight as much as possible. Remember though, the sun is not a deadly laser and people should still be active during the summer. We don't want people to be afraid of the sun keeping their kids out. We want kids of all ages, except maybe the newborns, being out doing their stuff, playing outside, enjoying all those fun summer activities. It's protecting their skin, keeping them hydrated. And when the temperatures start to rise, be on the lookout for signs of heat exhaustion and heat stroke. Really, if they have any, even a mild amount of confusion, if they're not sweating, if they're a little lightheaded, if they're not quite making sense when they're talking, those are signs to be concerned. If they start having nausea and vomiting, or even diarrhea, all those can be a sign of getting a little too much heat illness. It's interesting to note that the highest ever recorded temperature in St. Joseph, Missouri was 110 degrees all the way back in 1936. We may see temperatures get up into the hundreds later this week and next. When it gets that hot, it's important to remember to do exactly what I'm doing right now. Stand in the shade, wear a hat, and put on your best pair of sunglasses. Reporting in St. Joseph, Sam Rowe, KQ2 News. And we'll see those temperatures in the 90s later this week and next. So make sure you stay cool out there. You can always visit this story on our website for these reminders. And the temperatures.